I'm Miki Tebeka, and welcome to our video series about Go interfaces. This time we're going to talk about the price you pay when you use an interface. Interfaces are great, you should use them. They allow you to separate mechanism from behavior, they allow you to be flexible with the types you accept, they allow you to mock things. There are many, many advantages of using interfaces. But as they say, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch or sometimes tanstafel. So let's look at the price. Say we have a weather package and we define a Celsius type. It has a unit which returns the unit and it has an amount which returns the amount as a float 64. And we have a function to get the current weather. It's not really getting the current weather. We assume it's always warm and sunny. Uh, we create the unit and then we log what we got and return the temperature and no error. Let's have a look at what Go does when it builds it. So I'm going to do Go build and say GC flags equal dash M. Dash M tells the Go compiler to show you the optimization it's doing when building the package. And you see it does several of inlines, but two interesting things happen. C and U from line 20 escape to the heap. And when we look at them, we're just passing him, pa refrain, uh, sorry, we're just passing them as arguments to log printf. The reason is that when you pass an argument as an interface, Go is going to allocate it on the heap automatically. I won't go into the reasoning behind that, but that's something that you need to know. Heap allocations are way more expensive than stack allocations, which are almost free, and automatically also get cleared while heap allocation involves the garbage collector. The second thing is that calling a method via an interface is slower than calling a method via the value itself. So we define an interface, which is a value, which has the unit and the amount, meaning Celsius implements this interface. And we have two functions, one value of, which gets the concrete type, and the second one, value of IFS, which gets the interface. And now we're going to run two benchmarks. One benchmark is the concrete type. So we're going to use test C here on the top. Test C is the Celsius. And then on the bottom, we're going to do value of IFS with test C, meaning we're going to pass in an interface to the function. Right, so let's run, go test. And for test, I'm also going to say GC flags equal dash M. And then I'm going to say run, don't run any test and bench everything. And here you can see that the iFace benchmark is let's say five times, maybe four times slower than the concrete one. Remember, these are nanoseconds. So difference is one and a half nanoseconds. Most of the time, most of the cases, this is not going to matter. So use the interface unless you know that you have a really, really uh, deep performance requirements or strict performance requirements, and then you might think about removing interfaces. If you look at that, you can see also that Go is inlining the calls to value of and value of interface. Inlining meaning that the compiler is basically removing the function call and placing the code inside. So this might be a bit misleading. So what we can do is we can uh, tell the compiler not to inline these functions with the go no in. Let's run this benchmark again. You see this time we don't see the inlining 
And we see now that it's about half the time. Still, something to take into account, but as I said, performance optimization comes only at last stage when you know that you have a performance issue. Don't start with that. One of the places we can get some of these performance penalties is logging, especially if you do a lot of logging. You can look at the design of UberZap logging package. UberZap has two kinds of logger. One is the sugar logger, and this works with interfaces, namely the empty interface or any. And then it's easier to use. But if you want some extra performance and less memory allocations, you can use the non-sugar logger then you create zap string, zap int, and zap duration, which creates a concrete type, which is being passed into the log. Thanks for listening. See you next time. <laughs>